Look at the moon. Oh my god, this is definitely not normal. Look at the moon. What is up, Blue Crew? How's it going, Green Giants? And welcome, welcome to everybody tuning in for another DL talk. I appreciate you guys. Hitting the likes on the way in. Thanks to any new subscribers to the channel. We're trying to hit 5k, you know, as the year goes on or as soon as possible. I appreciate the support. Every drop means the world. Once again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a pro trader and I'll never tell you what to do. I am always wrong, but the blue crew is always right. Worst show, best community. Let's get into it. How's everybody doing? Kind of a really nice vibe going on for a Tuesday in the crypto space. You know, good momentum coming off from yesterday's like eclipse pump now building into things some of these cryptos are in the reds there's always some cryptos in the reds we'll jump into the deep reds in just a bit who do we got in the chat here shout out to the blue crew you guys make the channel what it is i am so grateful for your support legendary in the house 50 cent how's it going man or 50 cent appreciate you as always dude silver days in the house always grateful for the support man you guys are amazing man the usual suspects jumping in xrp free me Vic, how you doing? Fly Kiwi in the house. Gary Outdoors Living. OGBWA, good to see you. Tim Shea, good to see you. Salute to all of you. We got blue wrenches and green giants all over the place, man. Grays, what's up? We, we need the Grays to start showing up. What's going on? Destrix, bought some Casper to today. Yeah, boy, let's go. I mean, this is where the Tigers come to... Uh, 
figure out what's the next opportunity to pounce on, man. What is another crypto to add to our basket, right? If it's going to be a multi-ledger future, we're going to own multiple ledgers. Let's do it. Steve Zion, how you doing? Good to see everybody. Yeah, guys, hitting the likes helps bring the blue crew together. And I appreciate the activity in the comments section as well after the streams and everything. You guys know the whole YouTube stuff. It really just, you know, is all about participation. I don't know why I have to remind viewers about that. But, you know, you guys always bring the, uh, you know, amazing support. I'm just doing my part as like, you know, to help this channel grow. Right. I'll keep trying. If you guys keep trying, you guys know the deal. All right, let's jump into the news. Let's keep it crypto. We got Coindesk BCB has consolidated governance of its digital asset custody operations on Ripple owned Medico's platform. Let's jump into it. I mean, Medico is starting to make a big, big presence, right? Like this Medico deal is looking like it's, you know, getting some good partnerships, good acquisitions. Right, BCB Group moves custody of digital asset operations to Medico's platform. The move will allow crypto payments firm to consolidate its custody technology. BCB has moved its custody operations to Ripple-owned Medico's platform. We're seeing right mergers happening, consolidations, eclipses, if you will. Right. The move will allow the payments firm to consolidate its custody technology. BCB provides crypto payments and trading services for clients, including Gemini and Kraken. Medico, a Swiss crypto company or crypto custody firm owned by Ripple, said BCB Group, a crypto payments firm, consolidated governance of its digital asset custody operations onto its flagship platform. London-based BCB Group have migrated its operations from a third-party digital asset technology provider and is now using Medico's custody orchestration platform, the company said in a statement. The move allows the payments firm to consolidate its custody technology into a single platform to secure and govern its digital asset operations. We continue to empower new global financial ecosystems by connecting the global crypto industry, uh, BCB's co-founder and CEO said in the release. Our collaboration with Ripple, Medico, and IBM Cloud is a paramount step in that direction as it enables BCB Group to continue delivering superior top-tier services to digital asset ecosystems in a uh, uh, seamless, secure, and affordable way. Ripple, the enterprise blockchain and crypto products company, acquired Medico for $250 million in May last year. The Swiss crypt, uh, company CEO and chief uh, product officer recently left the business and reported by it. Yeah, right. We've, we've known about that past news, but this is a good sign. We may start seeing more of this to come, right? So just always keeping up with all the steps that are going on with Medico, Ripple, right? Medico's starting to make its presence felt here. What's up, full of XRP? Good to see you guys. Always good times and good vibes with you guys. And today's been a good Tuesday, man. I mean, we're not getting like mega pumps today, but there's just like a, a sense of positivity, I guess, in the crypto space uh, coming along. You know, people are going, all right, we're consolidating, but we know where this is going. We're in bull cycle. Let's go. Shout out to everybody tuning in. 25 likes already starting off the stream. You guys are out of this world, man. If we hit 100 likes, once again, we up our um, our GDLT token giveaway. Right? I think we're we're due for doing... Um, I think we're like at 14 for today's giveaway. But if we hit about like... You know, let's say if we hit 50 likes on the stream, we'll up that to 24. But if we hit 100 likes as the stream is over to the next stream, we'll up it even more, man. I'll just start giving away a good amount of GDLT token, y'all. Start getting it in more people's hands. Phantom Beat, what's up, dude? Full of XRP, appreciate you. Gary Outdoors Living. Sologenic, man. This is a good sign, right? A lot of people have been wary about like, oh, you know, does Ripple really support Sologenic? And, you know, what's going on here? Checking this out, man. Ripple telling the, uh, Bob, you know, hey, you're a good man, dude. You're a good man. Right, you're a good guy. Sologenic, right here. Brad Garlinghouse. I mean, Brad Garlinghouse takes photos with a lot of people, but him being over at Sologenic's area in the XRPL zone, you know, that's that's a good sign, right? Brad Garlinghouse made sure to, to wear an XRPL-friendly uh, neck. Uh, it looks like a, you know, 
necklace this time or lanyard lanyard prepare his blockchain he didn't want to wear a stellar one this time around but yeah sologenic one of the more undervalued cryptos in the xrpl um you know at 14 cents holy cow and corium right both of these um, i'm excited for the future with these cryptos or these digital assets for sure you got xx network it's a moment in time mobile phone service on decentralized infrastructure there's a way to do it privately with token incentivization and micro payments replacing centralized billing i love that david chom is talking micro payments with xx network that's a big deal right we like that with xrpl right drops satoshis right right having micro payments streaming payments that's going to be big and if you want that for privacy you're you know you're going to have to have cmix right if you're using a public blockchain you're going to want some privacy with your transactions it's going to go through the cmix but once again alchemist what's up dude 10 days 10 days dude countdown the x amount of days until the btc having it's looking more likely like we're not going to get a major pump before the halving right it's it may be post having pump or as the year goes along i'm excited to see what happens man without a doubt thoughts on solana 100 failure dude wf patsy i mean that's some uh some terrible things to see but hey we just saw the velo uh you know collaboration announcement just yesterday so i have like mixed feelings on this could it just be another way of just continuing to fud down solana like you know we'll see on the blockchain builders report over time, what goes on with Solana, if uh, active developers start, you know, bouncing from this project, we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, Solana's, dude, Solana's so divisive and it's so tough and I get it, guys. Like, it's not something I would normally, like, be into in terms of a blockchain project, but there's, the money behind it is interesting, like, to me, right? And the, the support for this uh, and the active developers, it's just, it's tough. It's definitely tough, but you know, if we get a $13 Solana again, we may, we may have to, you know, back up the trucks. We'll see, but I, I just don't see, I don't see it happening any again, but we'll see. I mean, Solana is so different from so many of the cryptos in the space, right? XRPL, definitely the most robust and, uh, you know, consistent. Then you got XLM, you got Tezos. You got, uh, you know, the Cosmos ecosystem, XTC network, HBAR, Quant. But yeah, that part of our portfolio with Solana. Yeah, you know, it's very sad seeing what's going on here with the, you know, they're trying to get as many users first and then figuring out how to meet the demand, right? Which means possibly you can't scale over time. We'll see. Proof of history, proof of time is being uh, put to the test. That's for sure. Steve Zion Jr. won't be the way forever full of XRP. You will never be able to own a full BTC ever again. Dude, ex I mean, I'm not even able to own a whole, a whole BTC right now. Right? I wish. I wish I had that type of money, dude. Maybe if I'm able to sell one of my Gala nodes, finally. That would be great. I feel like if Jamie Dimon was a coin, he'd be Solana. Solana. <laughs> Solana is the look at me, look at me of smart contracts. XCC is the only smart contract needed. There we go. XCC, the, the true Ethereum killer. There we go. Maybe Sorobon with XLM. Very exciting to see what goes on there, right? Leading an RWA over Ethereum. Nerdy dropping some good stuff from the BIS, man. All these goody videos, man. Check out Nerdy X on X. Multiple ledgers unified each with a specific use case. Co-X. Bank of International Settlements. The Big Eye. We got some news from the Big Eye coming up in just a second here. Fan Protocol is excited to share that we've made it to mainnet with Stellar Sorabon. It's our pleasure to be part of Stellar's ecosystem with a bright future ahead. 
Band Protocol made it to mainnet. Band Protocol is a cross-chain data oracle platform and aggregates and connects real-world data and APIs to smart contracts. I mean, Band Protocol has been on a tear in the past year, right? Collaborations or, you know, building on the XRPL. And now with Sorbonne, um, very excited, you know, and the Cosmos ecosystem, they are connecting themselves to some top tier, you know, platforms here in terms of DLTs. DAG replaces Sol, most likely. I mean, Solana was the Icarus, right? It just, you could tell in the name, right? We'll see. It's probably the next Luna, right? My thinking is, though, is like the FTX collapse. Like, why would they FUD Solana so hard then in the FTX collapse if it wasn't going to be something, right? Like, if it was just going to be the next one to, like, you were going to give, like, a nice little comeback story to, and then collapse it, right? Like, I mean, anything's possible. Anything's possible, but definitely, that's what I like about it, though. I like that it's a divisive crypto. I like, you know, I like cryptos that, you know, get people talking about it. You know, they have solid opinions in all directions about it, right? Man, XLM got to pop soon. Oh, man. I'm so stoked. I'm so happy that they kept the price. Thank you, Gary. Once again, thank you, Gary, for giving us for a really long time, sub a dollar, XRP and XLM. Thank you, Gary. I had hundreds of BTC in 2016. Used them to buy precious metals. What a terrible move. <laughs> Hindsight kicks you in the nuts. Oh, man. Oh, man. Legendary. But hey, we'll see. We'll see what ends up happening with uh, gold. Maybe in the short term. You never know. Yeah, the next sacrifice. I mean, dude, it very well could be. We've been able to just be playing with house money at this point. But, you know, we were able to call it when we saw it at that time in 2019 to make some really good gains. Same thing with the Cosmos ecosystem, right? And I still think there's a lot of juice left in the Cosmos ecosystem. That is for sure. Very surprised with how undervalued the whole Cosmos ecosystem really is major contributors to the hyperledger you know uh platform or you know all those projects that they have in the hyperledger right building possible use cases for the interledger protocol as well i mean yeah cosmos ecosystem definitely a major sleeper gold peg to xrp i'm hoping like crazy hey why not why not you got your stable coin for usd which, remember, is uh, one of the flags, on, you know, if you want to go into speculation, just really quickly, just so alchemists can have a good chuckle. One of the flags on Bearable Guy's Castle is the USD, right? So what if you get a stable coin for USD through Ripple? And what if they provide, what if Ripple starts to provide maybe a wrapped Bitcoin or something like that? Who knows? A stable coin Bitcoin? <laughs> you know, or running Bitcoin through the... Uh, through the ripple net who knows but yeah bringing gold gold peg to xrp could be very interesting because you have something like gold that could be slightly inflationary versus xrp that's deflationary be interested to see the dynamics of how that works out I got talked out of buying $250 worth. Dude, hey, I owned millions of Doge. I owned millions of Doge as a joke. Should have held on to that that joke. Should have held on to that joke big time, right? Delta UK, what's up, dude? Regen Network, new episode of Planetary Regeneration podcast hosted by Gregory Landa. I'm liking the activity we're getting here from the founders of Regen, the Regen Network on X, and just like you know that shout out on xrpl comments shows that they're still building and that they're probably a leader right now in terms of the refi you know uh, aspect of things in terms of web3 right here so i like region network in the cosmos ecosystem as an undervalued project i think they're currently at like what seven cents could go to five cents or six cents but sub 10 cents region network i'm digging especially with the small supply and the use case that they're aiming towards, right? There's a real boat here, real technology, real comp, you know, or real foundation 
um, shout outs from the XRPL comments on it, um, regenerative finance, right? We keep talking about, you know, generational wealth, but we don't talk enough about regenerational <laughs> wealth. Gold Buffaloes, what's up, man? Stronghold, submit your AMA questions now and click the link. CTO and co-founder Sean Bennett. Guys, if you wanna if the if you want the king of the blue castle to answer your questions for these, you know, the upcoming AMA right here. Um, you know, this is your time. It's on, you know, here. I'll share the link right here if you guys wanna jump in. Blue crew definitely, you know, hey, we own a majority of the SHX supply, right? So probably good for one of us at least to have a presence there to ask a question or two. Um Maybe asking Sean Bennett, how do you feel uh, knowing that, you know, Blue Crew owns a majority, you know, of the supply of SHX because of how long it was at the triple zeros for? <laughs> he may have a good chuckle. Uh, King Bennett, how do you feel about Green Giants? King Bennett, what do you think about that red dog star running around? Right? Now that you got them trained, ICP will run like NVIDIA. Dude, ICP, Inter Internet Computer Protocol, uh, you know, it was there in the deep reds with us, right? Going into the deep reds, you know, ICP was there. And now we got 200% on the gain, you know, gains on the year. And that's still just the beginning, dude. So ICP can have some, you know, ridiculous momentum coming soon uh, with the supply that it's at 517. Is it an inflationary protocol? Does anybody know? Uh, if it's deflationary, capped, inflationary, if anybody can give me an uh, you know, answer with that. But running some serious volume, dude, this thing was kept asleep big time, right? It made no sense for ICP being that, that far down low, right? When it was at $4, $3, right? Now it's 16. So you already got your 3X, 4X here. Let's see how many X's it has left. All time high was at 494. Oh, snap. Oh, give me it. Okay. Okay, you can turn off the uh, video in the background there. Legendary. What's up, man? How's it going? Good to see you. Okay, you can turn off the uh, video in the background. Yeah, I got it. All right, what's up, legendary? Good to see you. Hulk smashing hey, his way in. Green giant. Yeah, I'm just trying to say, fuck, fuck Peter Schiff. Oh, what's up? Yeah, yeah, him <laughs> and his gold maximalism. Him and his fucking god, the motherfucker talked me into it. Oh I've been man. trying to type, fuck, fuck Peter Schiff on the <laughs> yeah. but it won't let me. <laughs> Shut me down, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah, hey, I, I, I like gold. I like gold as much as the the you know the next person too. And we don't know, we don't know what gold can turn into in the digital age. Maybe it, yeah. you know, maybe it makes up for lost time. But yeah, right now it's like, damn, dude, I could have had more money. <laughs> oh, dude, I'd be a fucking millionaire. Yeah, dude, you'd be a Michael Saylor. A, a multi multi millionaire. You'd be a you'd be a Mike. You would be a Michael Saylor. And like, just be on like CNBC with your long ass beard, <laughs> telling oh, yeah. what you think. About I wouldn't people. even, I wouldn't even know y'all. You know, I'd be like, who are those? Who are those bugs? You know. I mean, <laughs> you would be like, dude, this guy. But you would, you would probably still have come across this because of XRP. You would be like, hey, I was an early Bitcoin investor. I've now moved most of my bags into XRP. Yeah, most likely. <laughs> or Theta. You'd probably be a Theta bull. Oh, Theta's looking good. With that cloud, their cloud uh, AI computing. Yeah, that's, it's going to be on everybody's device. It's going to be everywhere. Alchemist, you're totally right, man. Uh, legendary knows being a BTC maxi was definitely the winning call. Uh, dude, it was definitely the winning call, like, you know, this whole time, right? Like yeah. up to, up to now. Being a BTC maxi was probably the winning call, but oh yeah, yeah, I'm still sitting on, the on some Bitcoin. The safest I, and least stressful call, for sure. It seems. Yeah, like. I definitely held some, but I, yeah, it could have had a lot more, but you know, hey man, that's live and learn. And you know, we'll see uh, how you know the the rest of the decade goes, but and as we transition into the digital financial system, 
you know how uh, everything's going to be treated but right yeah what are we yeah. what are we thinking about um we got some news coming out about near protocol joining mm -hmm. the ibc and you you guys know we've been keeping track of near protocol as well like i think this is a big deal like sub ten dollars near protocol probably good and especially with solana like kind of you know losing you know people's interest near protocol could be one of those next ones to uh, make a solana-esque type of move um and i like this collaboration with cosmos what do you think about it yeah it's there, there's so many good good projects it's just which 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 one i mean i mean there's going to be a lot of them coming up and every one of them is gonna it's gonna make us it's gonna yeah. probably make us rich but, yeah i think it's just being yeah being able to hold long enough right right and then um yeah just having so much uh, of these accumulated and then just being like wow if this is what the multi-chain future looks like then we're set here we go yeah be there at the right time and hold it you know i'm like don't sell it for fucking metal don't sell it for gold and silver but we're here gold hearing, and silver is still looking yeah, yeah. good They're still no, yeah that around. that's gonna be great too dude that's that's the thing it's like you're gonna have all these you know it, it, that's what they're setting it up is like you can have anything for a currency like you can have multiple currency it's not all about just the us dollar anymore you can just hold whatever the hell you want right and um right. you become your own bank um everything's through your phone why would you even have to go to the bank anymore? right they're not going to be giving you cash any anyway oh no they just take <laughs> in the it future from you. you know they're not going to be giving you cash <laughs> anyway right so you're going to be no. doing everything through your phone no, no, you, yeah, you, like you said, you'll be your own bank. I mean, right. you, I mean, you'll be loaning people money. You'll be setting up terms of loans. I mean, you, you can, like I say, you're gonna be a bank. Right. Yeah. Right place, right time. Definitely, Steve, Steve's eye on. We are so fortunate and so early. Um, you know, and that's why we keep streaming daily and just keep bringing that same passion, just because we're we're. This is never going to happen again where you're seeing how the internet, like the new, finally the internet maybe even being complete, right? Like we're still in the growth of what the internet phase has brought and we haven't reached the value part with internet, right? And I think that's going to be crazy once, you know, the internet of value starts to become a reality and we're, we have the opportunity to see it build out right in front of our eyes, right? And, you know, we're so many people psyching themselves out so many see people psyching themselves out um as they're seeing it build right before their eyes and i feel yeah. like you know xrp community has been getting a little bit more uh positive or less toxic just because of the the ripple usd stablecoin news i think they're liking it more than hating on it right we've seen the typical fud with that but i think that that's drawn some interest yeah that in the bank of america hopefully that well, once that lawsuit is over yeah. and they do start working, or well, they're already working with Bank of America, but once they make it public and it's uh, fully implemented, that's going to give us a use case. You know, it may affect the price or not. I don't know, man. But I, I think it kind of has to. Right. I mean, they just can't sit low forever. What's but up, Bullish Crypto Sniper? SoFlo Digital, Marvin Davis. Drag Doves, Alchemist, of course. Appreciate everybody I'll, tuning in. I'll just hang in the background. You just keep on going with the news, and uh, I'll interject if I hear something I want to talk about. No, yeah, gotcha. I mean, I thought this was a really funny uh, little uh, graphic right here with Solana. Um, you know, maybe it's having you know these outages, but it's probably trying to you know it's handling more transactions than you know Ethereum and the rest of these guys are. Uh, you know interesting interesting stuff so you know some people buying into the fud some people not interesting times with solana you know i i still think there's a i still think solana is on an upward curve uh i mean we can have another opportunity at maybe 20 dollars solana or something like that if there's major major fud global catalyst type of stuff but I think Solana is still in an upward trajectory. I think it's going to be one of those cryptos that, you know, goes into the mainstream and 
it could be one of the ones that fails when it's in the mainstream like hey there was aol that was in the mainstream and then it got you know replaced over time right um you know and that's just one example so still you know i'm still keeping the there's something interesting about solana despite the outages i understand it though i understand why you would not even want to touch it with the 10 foot i get it see that i don't we were just talking about that uh with solana being ftx 2.0 to me it just it could i could see it happening but like it was major fun on solana for for ftx to collapse right um and I'm wondering if that was, you know, has a bigger intention to it overall. You know, like FTX collapse, causing Solana to collapse. So many people jump ship on Solana at that time. Right. And then look at what Solana did. Now, you know, it's finally kind of like filled its vision of being a, you know, major competitor with an Ethereum. Right. In terms of adoption and usage, not so much in terms of like maybe quality adoption. I don't know. You can save the pluses for Ethereum, but Solana's been catching up very quickly. Is what I'm saying, it's not even been out that long. Short everything except uh, commodities. There we go, Josiah Turner. What's up? Goal of being your own bank. Definitely got to be our own banks. I know G have a bag full of trash, no doubt. <laughs> we have. We get we got our own trash mountain that we're we're you know screaming at the top of you know how it is swiss bank in your pocket why not all the banks in your pocket man it's gonna be a relationship with the bank dude ai and banking everything becomes a trusted assistant future right entity data already told you the game plan you're basically just interacting with an assistant that does everything for you they're your banking assistant your accountant hell even food any any type of stuff they're just your overall assistant that could do everything freaking for you right and that's what banking is going to turn into just this complete interaction with ai being that can all for you do you have am amm lps i do not i just hold xrp in cold cold storage um and send it to cold storage if i accumulate more xrp um i'm not going to participate in lps uh right away um, I'm not a like, oh, I have to get in there for LPs type of mentality for, especially for the XRPL. Um, so I, I'm just keeping it in cold storage until we, you know, start getting more mainstream and these AMMs are a little bit more proven. Then I'll jump in, right? Buying the Flix dip, yeah, dude. I, if Flix goes sub ten cents, I'm buying, right? If Flix goes sub ten cents, I'm gonna buy some more Flix and be staking that thing. I'm not going to miss out again on Flix, right? I'm happy that I got it when I did and was able to make some good gains. Thank you, Snip. But yeah, if we get sub 10 cent Flix, we're jumping on it. Um, let's see. Uh, RWAs increase liquidity, improve transparency, and lead the market to higher efficiency. Securitize talking about it on Forbes. You got an announcement from Jed McCaleb's Vast. Announcement Haven 1 to be the world's first commercial space station connected by SpaceX Starlink. Holy cow. Here we go. Here we go, Legendary. We got Jed McCaleb not only setting us up with the intergalactic currency of the future, but now we have the world's first commercial space station connected by SpaceX and Starlink. How do you do you think a, a stellar XLM is going to be the uh, currency for the X platform? If we if we still have legendary there. Um it's going to be doge. It's going to be doge. No, no, I don't know. It could be stellar. It, it's got all the uh it's got all the right stuff. I mean, it makes sense that it would be Doge since he's been talking about it so much and you could do those like, uh, you know, kind of, you know, red pill type of connections of like, oh, X is the mark of the beast. Well, you need the beast and that's Doge, right? <laughs> Doge being the beast. But uh, I mean, Stellar and yeah, like 
there could be a connection right there. Like, if you're telling me the first commercial space station connected by SpaceX and Starlink, there's possible, you know, acknowledgement here, maybe from Elon Musk. We'll see. Uh, are they still are talking to anything related to uh, Elon? As far as, like, SpaceX or Tesla or his boring company, any of those? Dude, probably, any... probably in NDAs, right? Yeah, any of his entities, who knows? I mean, one of these is going to, like... It, it'd be great if it is just XRP and XLM and they just have a majority of the market, like all the really big, you know, big names connected in NDAs to these platforms. But yeah, Elon Musk, like he must know something that he could do with Doge. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, yeah, he's, he's got something in his back pocket. Yeah, I don't know like... why he likes Doge so much, but he does. Yeah, like maybe he's like, yeah, we're going to... Keep the Doge name. We're going to revamp the whole blockchain. We're going to scrap it out and just make it a whole new blockchain. It's going to be built on, you know, XLM Stellar or something. Or, uh, it'd be, I, I'm interested to see what he does. See what he does. But he would be in for the big joke. He is a troll. Yes. Della UK, XTC. Yeah, XTC could be the one for sure. That'd be great if the X, yeah, what if, you know, X platform said we only accept cryptos that have an X on them, right? <laughs> like they're, maybe they're that, you know, they have that much of a sense of humor or something, or you know, that's their only interest. The cross border, you know, cross gender, cross currency, X. Um, there will be a point in the near future where a single nuclear powered AI has been uh, trained on all data in the world. Uh, that's all the books, movies. Yep, exactly. It'll be up to date with every single thing by the second or as close to the second as possible, right? There'll be sensors everywhere giving data to the all knowing AI collective. What country is that server in? Red pill nonsense. What's up, Alchemist? Appreciate you, man. All right, let's keep going. Stellar org in 2024 and beyond, no one is going to be talking about blockchain. They're just going to be using it. That's a big statement right here coming from Denaltics. And, you know, she's sitting in front of a Ripple logo subliminal there. You got, a, you know, the three cubes all connected there. But nonetheless, uh, might have been an animation, though. Maybe it separates. But saying we're not even going to be talking about blockchain. We're just going to be using it, right? And what does that mean? Maybe we still talk about, oh, it's great using blockchain. But interested to see because if majority of people are still familiar with US dollar and you know, anybody else, you know, in the world with their respective currencies to their country. And maybe this is a step of using DLT, you know, Maybe the big banks and institutions and, you know, people who invest in stocks and stuff like that will know of, you know, select digital uh, assets. Um, and then, you know, it's part of, it has its own market, but, you know, people maybe aren't using it all the time, right? Which I have a hard time thinking. I think it's like, we're, we're going to all have choices of multiple currencies that we want to use, right? Uh, or can use. And that's just going to be the way of things in the future is just you can choose to pay with whatever you want to pay with. Right. And sure, cryptocurrency is going to be a part of that. Maybe it's not the biggest part of it. Maybe at the under layer, it's the biggest part of it. But, you know, for everyday people, yeah, maybe in the next 10 years, it's still going to be a major learning curve for people to even understand what the hell crypto is. Right. So you got to show them the benefits of the use case with the US dollar, with other commodities right evening to the blue crew what's up right guy good to see you people don't care what's happening under the hood yeah exactly man people just want you dude you know you already have so many payment apps that are showing up that aren't even crypto related right people just want a better payment experience right and if they're getting a better payments payment experience to transact or send their dollar to somebody across the globe and it converts instantly into that person's preferred currency 
which is, you know, their local currency. Then why would they want anything else? And then, then they realize, oh, you know, the inflation with US dollar, it's based on nothing, right? Well, what if US dollar and these currencies get pegged to gold or precious metals and game on, right? Interesting. You know, we're, we're in for an interesting time, guys, because regulations are going to happen. We don't know what they look like necessarily, but it changes monetary policy, right? This is going to be such a big shift in monetary policy that we've ever seen, right? Whole new rules of the game, level playing field, if you will. Guys, we're getting really close to 50 likes. If we do hit 50 likes on during this stream, as we do our giveaway, we're going to make a 23 BDLT token. Uh, you know giveaway so i have a good feeling that we're going to be doing that let's jump into the deep reds here you guys appreciate everybody we'll jump into the greedy greens deep reds so cryptos in the hail mary list over here multiple zeros list xvr did 116 percent in the past 24 hours holy cow on the xrpl sailor token picking up some big momentum the past seven days 56 percent gains in the past seven days 22 percent in the past 24 hours got uh seti coin or ceti uh 31 percent in the past seven days shout out to the blue crew that uh gave a shout out to that crypto jump it into the trash list here we go you got a left 36 percent gains a left man up 304 percent in the past year we saw a left crash so hard right in the bear cycle um we we kept the faith with it but you know 304 percent you know gains in the past year that was a good deep red to be tackling without a doubt uh dec in the ibc doing its thing finally getting the the whiff of speculation we were hoping for for dec if you were accumulating at double zero eight you know maybe this is the beginning of something special here with the decentralized browser or the cosmos ecosystem dec uh, T fuel, you know, just killing it with theta, right? T fuel is going to probably go up multiple hundreds of percent. Um, you're probably going to see about a 20 cent, 30 cent, you know, yeah, T fuel, fuel should be, it's a four to one to theta. So yeah, you know, knock a yeah, quarter off of the theta price. And that's probably where T fuel's headed. Yeah. T fuel's going to keep, keep doing its thing. Um, yeah, it looks like the beast has woken up with Theta and uh, T Fuel in the past couple of months, without a doubt. Um, WTK Wads Pay at three cents looks like the beast is waking up there. Still, you know, a modest, you know, twenty three percent gains in the past seven days, but you know, finally, you know, we're starting to see some life coming out from the Wads Pay and WTK uh, token. LSP Lumen Swap has been killing it uh, for the Stellar ecosystem. Block V has been doing its thing. A uh, little bit of a retracement in the past 90 days, but they're doing all right. Um, Velo continues to kill it. We're seeing Velo getting closer to two cents. We're at a penny five. We'll see what it... Yeah, I mean, XLM ecosystem picking up some uh, speculation recently, which is a good sign. Uh, we go into the ISO list right here. We got uh, Verge basically being the only one on the ISO list in the gains. Like, my gosh, guys, this... These cryptos are so heavily manipulated, it's not even funny, man. XRP, SHX, XLM, Solo, Casper, Check, SMR, ADA, Chainlink. ADA's been getting a lot of hate recently, too. So, you know, we may get a retracement there for ADA. Maybe a good opportunity to accumulate. XTC at $0.04. Cents, unbelievable. EWT hasn't, you know, really responded in a big way from the MXC listing. It's not, it's not expecting like the initial, you know, volume to be coming in, but the fact that that door is open now, that that door is there and a way for people to accumulate EWT. I like this as the year goes on and this will continue to be one of our undervalued cryptos under $3 without a doubt, like EWT, um, just very surprising very surprising to see it really doing nothing but at a hundred million supply or 50 million total or circulating right now energy web token definitely a highly undervalued crypto on the iso list here iso list here xx network under 20 cents 
Hallelujah. Let's go. XX Network, billion supply, privacy. All these public blockchains are going to need a privacy layer of some sort. XX Network is going to be there to provide it. Corium at 13 cents. Dragon Chain at 5 cents again. There's beautiful opportunities out there, you guys. But I'm only thinking of one crypto on this list. And this will be... We, we didn't hit 50 likes, but I'll give you guys the 23. This will be 23 BDLT token. If you want to roll it over, we'll make it 24 to the next stream. But remember, the trash cheat code is there. Um, but yeah, which one of these ISO 222 cryptos or ISO cryptos am I thinking about? Start guessing. Go. What do we got? What do we got? We got to put the countdown on. This is a big bag. This is a big bag of uh, GDLT token here. All right, you guys got a minute. Let me see. Let me see through the list here. Slowly but surely we'll creep on up. Here we go. Oh, legendary. You freaking mind reader, dude. Legendary, you mind reader, bro. Look at you. Guys, this, this is not an inside job. Look, you can see yeah. it right there. Dragon chain. Yeah, no way. Yeah. Which one was it? Uh, metal? Dragon? Dragon chain, dude. Dragon, Dragon chain. Yeah, yeah you, haven't, you haven't picked that one in a while. I, I figured that one was coming. Yeah, I mean, we had to pick the blue dragon. Good timing. I saw it on the list there just before I switched it to the, uh, you know, to the, you know, ascending order or whatever. And I was like, yeah, it was, it was the lowest on the list there when I picked a 24 hour. Yeah. So I, uh, there yeah, you dra go. Dragon chain. Yeah. Very undervalued. Right. So looking good. That blue dragon flying around the blue castle. We like accumulating this under a dollar, under 50 cents, under whatever, dude. I got a feeling dragon chain is going to get some positive news coming out. From the sec case and that's going to really put you know elevate some awareness around dragon chain uh yet again and see that it's already been built in out an ecosystem they've been very consistent very excited to see and you know hopefully some new listings that's going to be a big thing if we can get an mxc listing for dragon chain that'd be beautiful yeah we're going to be dragging that sack to the next show <laughs> <laughs> exactly dragging that sack over to xrp right after it moons right um guys appreciate everybody tuning in for another one uh we'll see you guys in the xrp boardroom it's coming up right after this let me get the link for y'all uh but legendary man how about you say your piece as i'm getting this link man uh you know anything any words of encouragement from the the high green mountains as a whole uh -huh. to the blue Just... to the to the gray people <laughs> stick stick to it man like, like, you, like everybody says, don't uh, invest what you don't, what you can't lose. I mean, stay humble, stay true, and uh, do your research. That's all I, I got. Are we are we rolling over the? Uh... Oh, of course. Oh, we're rolling it over. So we're gonna keep trying. If you guys keep trying, I appreciate it, man. Okay, let me get that. Let me get the trash here. I mean, man, we found some amazing shit out there today. I mean, the kind of shit I, I didn't think you could find in the trash, you know? <laughs> I mean, man, we found... I'm gonna keep trying if you guys keep trying. Let's keep rocking and rolling, man. I'm gonna keep... So, so, my bad. I had to, uh, I had to do the, uh, you know, the animations there thanks for what you do gerald that means the world man thank you guys so much for your support and once again guys like as we're on the way out here thanks for hit leaving a like um if you guys you know we have how many viewers like close to 40 or 50 for the stream if you guys can leave a comment um as well it just helps us out with the algorithm it just helps us break through the firmament here mm -hmm. we're definitely you know you saw that how big of that shadow was from the eclipse that's like how big that shadow ban is on so really just helps us out a lot like you can just shout out your favorite crypto in the comments um and it brings awareness to the blue crew right it lets us know oh okay maybe that's something to keep an eye out for so uh, much love uh legendary thanks for tuning in man i'll see you in the xrp boardroom i'll see all of y'all in the xrp boardroom yep. links in the chat there to thank the you, boardroom. Blue crew. 
Thank you, Green Giants. The future is distributed ledger technology and the future is bright. Our future, right? We got the eye of the tiger. And we keep it crypto. I'll see you guys in the XRP boardroom. Adios. Look at the moon. Oh my God. This is definitely not normal. Look at the moon.